This has been a very traumatic month. It's time we actually address the problem. At a time when the treatment of female political staffers dominates headlines, Canberra's newest crossbencher and former Liberal MP Craig Kelly has plenty to say about other controversies. Though I am not an anti-vaxxer. But when it comes to addressing allegations of sexual harassment in his own office... Craig Kelly, I want to talk to you about your staffer, mm -hmm. Frank Zumbo. The MP has proved difficult to pin down. You've declined our interview request. Yes, there's, there's no doubt behavior. Mr Zumbo because of his political position on many issues. No, we're not talking been, about politics, has, has we're talking about sexual harassment has... complaints. Craig Kelly's most trusted advisor, a man called Frank Zumbo, is accused of sexually harassing women as young as 16. The 53-year-old denies the allegations, but he is the subject of an apprehended violence order. A police investigation is underway and at least seven young women have made formal complaints. Often there were as many girls in school uniforms in like a federal office as there were um, people in like office clothing. Three young women went public with their allegations on 7.30 two weeks ago. I said to him, you know, why did you just put your hand on my leg? That feels kind of weird and creepy. You know, I just went in because it would look good on my resume. I thought it was good experience and it was something I'd always been, been interested in. 7.30 has now spoken with a Liberal advisor who worked for Craig Kelly from 2015 for three years and alleges she was sexually harassed by Frank Zumbo. She's unwilling to reveal her identity, but 7.30 has obtained a copy of her police statement. She alleges that Zumbo initially greeted her with hugs and kisses in Craig Kelly's office, but then started touching her breasts. As time went on, moving into 2016 and beyond, Frank would also begin the day with grabbing my breasts as I went in to hug him. In 2016, the then 21-year-old says Zumbo tried to forcibly kiss her in front of two witnesses. I pushed him away by putting both hands on his chest and saying, stop, I don't want to do this, I don't want to kiss you. Then in June 2018, she alleges Zumbo exposed himself to her. I looked over at Frank and noticed he had taken his penis out of his zipper on his pants. I began crying while saying, Frank, I don't want to do anything like that, please just take me home. Frank Zumbo vigorously denies the allegations. After she quit her job, the young woman sent a message to try to tell Craig Kelly about what she'd endured while working for him. But she says the then Liberal MP never responded. After going through what I went through for over three years, to send him a message saying, look, I've worked for you for over three years, I've been dedicated, can I please just talk to you privately? To just have that ignored. Do you think Craig Kelly knew there were issues with Frank Zumbo's behaviour? A lot of us would break down and cry, cry regularly. And Craig would come in and he would have a look and he would sort of go, Frank, is, is everything OK? And Frank would go, no, it's not a good time right now, Craig. Out you go. And he would turn around and walk out. I want people to know that a lot of people tried to address the issue with Craig Kelly directly the culture and the office that he was running, at best, it was a toxic environment. At worst, it was allowing predatory behaviour to go unchecked. Kent Johns is the former vice president of the New South Wales Liberal Party, a two-time mayor and now local councillor in Craig Kelly's electorate. He's long held ambitions for the federal seat, having once challenged Craig Kelly at pre-selection and lost. But he insists what he's about to reveal has nothing to do with politics. What I want is girls to be safe. That's all this ever came down to. You know, I play politics as hard as anybody else, but that's not acceptable in any day or age. What were you specifically told about Frank Zumbo's alleged behaviour? The initial concerns came from staff members that were serving at the time in Craig's office. They raised the concerns that, you know, certain behaviours in there were, were totally inappropriate. Uh, he used to go out on trips with them. And on one occasion, he happened to rub his hand, allegedly, 
uh, along a young girl's leg. Uh, another accusation that was placed before me were uh, closed door meetings. And allegedly during these, um, there would be screaming coming from a young girl. And then after that event, he walked out of the conference room and actually had an erection. So when I finally heard about that one, that's when the penny dropped that something had to, something had to change. Three of Craig Kelly's former staffers have provided signed statements to 7.30 saying they frequently raised concerns with the MP from 2013 about Zumbo's behaviour around female interns. They detail a meeting in June 2014 when they say Craig Kelly was informed about a girl screaming from behind a locked door and the alleged erection incident. Through his lawyer, Frank Zumbo told 7.30, he's appalled by that allegation and denies it. A month after that meeting, two female staffers in their 60s lodged compensation claims alleging persistent bullying and intimidation by Zumbo, who was then a volunteer. At the same time in South Australia, Zumbo was being investigated over allegations he bullied staffers in the office of the Small Business Commissioner, where he worked part-time. An investigation found bullying and harassment had taken place. Zumbo denies the allegations. Meanwhile, at the University of New South Wales, where Frank Zumbo was an associate professor, concerns about his conduct were flagged before he departed suddenly in 2015. At the time, I didn't make a complaint at university. I was under the very distinct impression that if I didn't placate him and go along with the behaviour, that I would, my marks would really be impacted. Former student Kate Nichols says as a lecturer, Zumbo would persistently contact her over Facebook, asking to catch up outside of class. Although it felt like very sleazy, unwanted, sort of intimidating behaviour at the time, seeing it in the context of having multiple other people complain and say the same thing, it almost feels like grooming type behaviour. By 2016, Zumbo was working full-time in Craig Kelly's office and Kent John says concerns about the welfare of female interns were so constant, he decided to confront the MP. I spoke to Craig Kelly to say, you've got a toxic office environment. Um, can, can you address it? Because the issues that are being raised, if they're true, uh, cannot be sustained and you have to do something about it. And what did he say back? Um, Craig said to me, it's an issue. I have a deep relationship with Frank. I can't let him go now. Give me three months. I need him for the election. And over that three months, I'll move him out of the office. It never happened. Craig Kelly has consistently denied any knowledge of specific allegations to do with Frank Zumbo that, that have emerged in the media. What do you make of his denial? He's a liar. I raised it with him. The staff members I've spoken to have said they raised it with him. He knew what was going on. He knew the behaviour was unacceptable and he kept ignoring it. John says when Kelly refused to act, he turned to senior members of the New South Wales Liberal Party and in 2018 sent an email to moderates. I tried every avenue that was available to me, whether it was political, legal, um, talking to Craig, um, I tried everything I possibly could, but I should have tried harder, I should have done more. The Department of Finance is responsible for handling complaints against political staffers and is assessing the Frank Zumbo allegations. But public policy expert Dr Maria Maley says regardless of any findings, it's ultimately up to an MP to decide what action to take. I think that is a problem because um, there can be conflicts of interest there. For example, if the complaint was actually about the parliamentarian themselves, they would only be, be the only people who could take action. Um, or if it was a, a very trusted advisor, someone very close to the parliamentarian, then they would be making judgments about that person. Uh, and you could see that, you know, there would be conflicts of interest there. Craig Kelly says he's already personally investigated the allegations made against Frank Zumbo. And what went into your investigation? I sat down with Mr Zumbo 
and went through every aspect of the allegations that were written in the paper because until they were published, that is the first time I'd heard of those allegations. So mm -hmm. no one has ever been to you, none of your staff members, no other Liberal Not Party members specific about, allegations. about they sexual harassment? They've, they've certainly been uh, in, engaged in scuttlebutt and innuendo. And it was he scuttlebutt. denies Kent Johns or any of his staffers came to him with concerns of inappropriate behaviour in his office. We've got people saying, dating back to 2013, well, <coughs> that there's been those concerns I said, there. Uh, over the years, there has, as I said, over the years there's been substantial scuttlebutt. scuttlebutt but what about, and a, and a what about safety concerns? Okay, what about sexual been, harassment I have seen, concerns? I have seen not one single example, right, of any conduct of Mr Zumbo. Not one single not example? Not one single example. Um, now, there is nothing that I have seen as far as his conduct is anything out of the usual. Now, what if there's... an if allegation there's... that you've walked in before where the girls are crying, no, Frank that... Zumbo's yelling and he's told you, Craig, leave. No. Do you remember an occasion no, compl... like that? Abs absolutely. I've never had a circumstance where I've walked into the so office... So are you calling that and young woman staff a liar is, then? And my st she may have a different recollection of what happened. But there is... He's seen girls in his office crying and he's heard our screaming matches, so he knows what's going on. Former female staff say Craig Kelly has never contacted them to ask what happened. It really belittles everything we went through because he's not even trying to rectify the situation. He's just letting it play on. Frank Zumbo continues to work in Craig Kelly's office. Do you believe your office is currently a safe place for young women to work? Absolutely. And the young women in my office will agree with that as with you as well. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.